All right, welcome back. So in, in this class, I want to be teaching equivalent fractions. What do we mean by equivalent fractions? These are fractions that are exactly the same thing. So it's just that we, if we do something to, a numer to the numerator of a fraction, and the same thing is done to the denominator of the fraction, most especially multiplication and division. So the resulting fraction will still be the same. So those two fractions are equivalent. How do we look at that? Let's see an example. If we have 2 over 5, 2 over 5 is a fraction. What are the fractions that are equivalent to it? We have millions of fractions that can be equivalent to this. How do we get that? If you multiply the top and the bottom by the same thing, or you divide by the same thing, you will still get an equivalent fraction. E.g., for instance, if we multiply the top by 2, say 2 times 2, multiply the bottom 2 by 2, that's 5 times 2. So, what's 2 times 2? 2 times 2 will give us 4. 5 times 2 will give me 10. So, 4 over 10 is also an equivalent fraction to this. So, this is just a simple explanation of this. Let's now say a question says, F write five equivalent fraction to a particular fraction. You don't need to start showing all of this. Let's take, for instance, if we have three over four, I want to write five equivalent fractions to this. Just pick the number from one, two, three, four, and so on. So let's start by multiplying both by two. If you multiply this by two, two times three will give me six, four times two, 2 will give me 8. So this is still equivalent to this. So both of them, they have equivalent fractions. They are equivalent fractions. Then what if you multiply both of them by 3? Three? 3 times 3 will give me 9. 4 times 3 will give me 12. They are still equivalent. So what if you multiply both of them by 4? Four? 4 times 3 will give me 12. 4 times 4 will give me 16. They are still equivalent. What if we multiply both of them by 5? Whatever you use, they are still equivalent. If you multiply this by 7, this will give me 21. Multiply these two by 7, that will give me 28. They are still equivalent. That means 21 all over 28 is still equivalent to 3 over 4. So, it is not only multiplication that can give us equivalent. What if we have 100 all over 150? If we divide this by the same numbers, so we still have equivalent fraction. Let's say we divide this by 2. 100 divided by 2 will give me 50. 150 divided by 2 will give me 75. They are still equivalent. So the work, it doesn't change. What if we divide again by 5? Divide this by 5, you have, you have 10. And divide this by 5, if you divide this by 5, you have 15. You have 15. So, they are still equivalent. So, that means 50 over 75 is still equivalent to 100 over 150. Still equivalent to 10 all over 15. And this concept is what we always apply in reducing fractions to the lowest term. This will even help junior school students or uh, ba uh, basic elementary elementary school student like primary school student this will help them thank you very much for viewing this god bless you